What's up guys, Anton here from Faceprep and in this particular video tutorial, we are going to learn how to send an email using Automation Anywhere. Now, sending an email in the scope of RPA, Robotic Process Automation, is one of the most important things to achieve, right? Because a lot of time is actually spent in sending emails and a lot of this work uh, in enterprises can be automated, which makes this particular command that we're going to use one of the most uh, you know, powerful within Automation Anywhere. Right? So we're going to do that using the send email command over here. As you can see, on your command panel, you have this option to send email as simple as that. Just double click on that. And then a dialog box appears, which you have to fill in some details. Now, this dialog box, isn't it quite similar to the usual way in which you send an email? Again, not nothing too complicated. You have a from address, a to address, you can add CC, BCC. You can add a subject line as you can see over here. Uh, you can add attachments. So you, you have the options of adding, uh, attaching files to your particular email while sending it. You also can attach all variables. Now, all the variables that are uh, part of your particular bot will be attached at that point in time and sent if you choose this particular option here. Now, why would you want to do that? Again, just in case there is some error that crops up and at that point in time you want to send an email, uh, this, this will practically put all your variables together. Both your system uh, variables as well as your user defined variables will be part of it. We'll, we'll have a look at it in a while. You'll get to see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, just continuing here. So you can validate if the attachment is missing or not by uh, checking this box. You have text and HTML, so you can send uh, the email using plain text. That is, you can enter whatever you want over here, or you can use HTML in order to send it. So we'll have a look at both of these as well as part of this particular uh, tutorial, right? So now, while this is self-explanatory, that is not enough for you to send an email. Now, similar to reading an email using email, email automation command, while you send an email, there's few settings that you have to keep in mind. The first setting, the first email setting you have to do is actually on your um, email address, that email account with which you want to send an email. We'll get to that. So that is the first one. Second one is where within Automation Anywhere, there are certain email settings that you have to tweak in order to be able to send an email. So let's have a look at both of these. So first of all, I'm going to... Uh, find my email settings within Automation Anywhere. First, let me do that. So for, to do that, you will have to go to tools. Now, not this tools over here, but the tool tools in your dashboard, right? When you open your Automation Anywhere client, the tools uh, on your panel up here is what you have to click on and you'll have to go to options over here, as you can see, as simple as that, tools and options. And once you go to options over here, You'll, this, this dialog box opens up and you have email settings here. I click on that. I have already added my email settings, but let me just tell you where to get all of this information from. First of all, you have to define your host. Basically, this is your mail server and this is your outgoing mail server. So SMTP is used. Uh, this is the protocol that is used to send emails. Uh, I've spoken a little bit about protocols in the other tutorial, that is the email automation tutorial where you are going to access your email messages. You can have a look at that over there, but broadly you can also Google about what SMTP is all about. It's simply a protocol or a set of rules that allows you to send an email and work with the outgoing mail server as you can see over here, right? Uh, and again, just in case you're curious, SMTP uh, stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Now, what about these uh, details here? The host, smtp.gmail.com, port number 465. Where do we get these details from? Again, I'm going to use my Gmail account for this purpose. So if I have to send an email using my Gmail account, I'll have to use the host, smtp host as this, right? Specified by Gmail. In order to find out where to find it, a couple of places, Gmail itself uh, provides these details. If you just search for uh, Gmail settings for SMTP, you'll find this. So IMAP, as you can see, and as we have discussed, IMAP is used in um, accessing your emails or reading your emails. To send your emails, the protocol that you are going to use, right, would be SMTP, as you can see. 
right so right over here is where your details are smtp.gmail.com is going to be your host name which is going to be uh, entered over here then you have your port number as you can see it's 465 for SSL right and that's why it is entered here another place in case you're not able to find this another place uh, a relay place you should spend a lot of time in at rather is uh, in the documentation at automation anywhere right we have a send email command here uh, where it's talked about the send email command and down here is uh, the server for gmail it is smtp.gmail.com and you can see the supported ports it's 465 which is what i'm using over here right so i'm going to tick these two options as well my server uses secure connection yes it does SSL and my server requires authentication. Yes, that is why I'm giving my username and password. So I've entered my username and password of, of the email account that I'm using in order to send my email. So the username and password is already entered over here. You can enter your uh, own and then that'll be done. You also have include uh, go green message at the end of the email. It pretty much attaches a small message there saying do not print save the planet right if you want to include that go ahead and include that so i'm going to leave that as it is because i love my planet all right so this kind of um, you know uh, does it as far as your uh, settings email settings is concerned within automation anywhere but this is the first part of it the second part if you want to send your email is that you have to go to your email account now that is over here right here this is the email account that i'm going to use in order to send the email so you have to go to the email account and uh, there is one small setting that you have to tweak over here so for that purpose you have to click on this grid icon and go to your account this opens up and when you come down here, you will find uh, security, click on security, one of the options over here and when you scroll down, you have an option that says less secure app access. As you can see here, it is on, it's switched on, mostly in your case it will be off, right? By default it is off and that's what's recommended also because they do not want uh, other apps accessing it, right? Not, not other apps accessing it, the whole problem is that some apps or devices uh, in this case it's automation anywhere uh, uses less secure sign-in technology so that's why gmail does not recommend using uh, uh, apps and devices right it, it does not recommend switching on uh, less secure app access but we need to do that in order to send email so this is switched on you can toggle between this but keep uh, in mind that it has to be switched on right so this is the second part of the setting very simple just two things you can do it under a minute, get it done, and then you're ready to send an email. So let's do that now. We are ready to send an email. So I'm just going to send an email, double click on the send email option over here. From email, obviously the account that you're going to send from, which is set up over there, the account that you have uh, set up in the options over there, uh, in the email settings that is. So faceprep.rp.gmail.com. In this particular case, I'm going to put the two address to be the same as in I'm going to send an email to my own account right you can send it to anybody you can send it to uh, when you're testing you can, if you have another alternate account you can probably send it to that in order to test up to you um, but I'm going to send it to the same account and that that's possible by the way so um, I'm not going to do anything uh, too fancy right now I'm just going to put a simple message here let me just say hi from automation anywhere by face prep all right a little bit of branding there okay let me just save this and let me just run this particular thing okay this is the send email command right i'm just saving this nothing to fa fancy like i mentioned uh, just sending a simple message i click on run and let's hope that this particular email is sent using automation anywhere right so the bot is running <coughs> all right it's done it's done running let me go back to my account over here and as you can see first of all there's a critical security alert because i changed the less secure app access that's okay i did that nobody else did it so now the main thing is the first email over here and it is the email from automation anywhere i got an email sent by a bot 
right? So uh, this is the subject line as we saw, hi from Automation Anywhere by Facepreb. Uh, this is the message that we put in the command just in case you have forgotten that. Here's the message here. It's a text message. We can also send HTML. We'll look at that in a bit. And uh, what else? We have this go green message. I told you, right? So please consider the environment before printing this email. All right. Um, this is broadly it. As far as our simple execution is concerned, it's, it's clear that yes, we can send an email using automation anywhere. Bunch of settings to be done, two settings as we saw. And once you're done with that, you can easily send um, your emails. So one thing uh, to notice before, or rather one thing to note before we move on to sending an HTML based email is that you can send your email to multiple um, email addresses, right? And, and the way to do it over here is to separate it with a semicolon, right? And put your, uh, the next email that email address that you, got, you want to send your email to. So you can obviously do that. Um, another thing to note is all of these uh, fields here, you can add variables, right? You're allowed to add variables inside these fields. I mean, uh, that, that is truly and greatly helpful. You can uh, practically, you know, work it out outside of this particular command. Make sure that your variables are ready and use variables to send things out, right? So practically the two, instead of putting a lot of email addresses separated by uh, uh, your semicolons depends on your context the context of what you're doing but if you have to generally do that you can use an uh, use a variable for that purpose as well right so pretty flexible in that particular sense so uh, with that i would want to then uh, move ahead and show you how to work with html files now what are html based emails if, if you're not familiar with html based emails so if i have to just give you an example right here this is simply plain text there's no uh, nothing fancy happening here uh, no html being rendered it's, it's simple plain text but you can use tools like mailchimp now mailchimp does a lot of things you don't have to really worry about that but uh, primarily it also helps you design your emails which is precisely what i've done here i've created a or rather i've used their uh, template over here as you can see on the left hand side these are html based emails it's not plain text there are images there are uh, uh, this text with multiple fonts and uh, rendered differently right this is in a different format altogether so there's a lot of things happening here and this is pr practically what uh, we mean by an html uh, uh, based email right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to send an email such as this using automation anywhere and that's going to be simply amazing right so in order to do that first of all i need to uh, pull out the html content here and how do i do that so i mean uh, in this particular case i'll have to tell you how uh, mailchimp works not too complicated anyways but for the purpose of this particular exercise i'm going to go straight to it i'm just going to this is basically the email that we're looking at send email uh, send email aa command is practically this email that you can see over here and I'm just going to uh, export the HTML, click on this, export as HTML, right? I'm going to show you the HTML code soon enough. Okay, it's it's downloaded. So let's just uh, look at it. So here is the HTML, which will evaluate to or it will render the email that we just saw, right? We, we just saw... Uh, well, we just saw this, right? So if I have to send this, this HTML over here will uh, render that. So let me just do a little bit of hygiene things or, or it's fine. I mean, I just removed one thing, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to copy this entire HTML over here and I am going to paste it. In my, I'm going to uh, select HTML here and I'm going to paste it in here. All right, so this entire HTML I've pasted in this particular text box over here. Now, let me just save this and try. Okay, I have to specify a two email address. Let me do that again. I'm going to use the same thing, not going to change that. I'm going to save this. Let's see if this uh, renders. Let's see if I receive the email the way I should receive it. I might be in for a surprise. Uh, it may or may not work. Let's see. 
so it's sending as usual uh, i suppose it'll take a little bit more time because it's slightly longer okay it's done let's uh, go back to our email inbox and here's the file right or the email but unfortunately the html has uh, come in as the code itself I and mean, the source code has come in here it hasn't rendered into what we want to see right it, it the the uh, the graphical email that we wanted to see is not simply there it's it's just the um, uh, what do you say the code has come in, in its place so what we need to do is we need to do something else and uh, basically I wanted to highlight the error that comes in if you put this here directly so in order to solve that problem of yours you can't put it directly into this text box here you'll have to put it inside a variable right so let me do that so I hope that is clear if you want to use okay let me just cancel this if you want to uh, send an email and you want to rend render the HTML properly, you'll have to uh, use a, um, a variable for that purpose. And I'm going to use this user defined variable here. System has defined the user uh, or defined the variable for us. So I'm going to use the prompt assignment variable as you can see here. Save this. And uh, out here in the email, instead of all of this, I'm just going to add the variable that's the prompt assignment variable again i have to make sure that i'm uh, clicking on html so that's what i want so just saving this and let me just uh, send the email and see what happens uh, along with that let me do a couple of more things so that we can uh, check out a couple of other things alongside i'm going to add an attachment see if that gets sent uh, the face logo here i'm also going to attach variables all right so attach variables means that all the system variables, all the user defined variables and its values will come in the email that is going to be sent. So let's see how that happens also, right? I'm going to save this and uh, all right, that was a call right there. In any case, let's proceed. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this and see what happens here. Okay, it'll, it'll probably take slightly longer because now we have attached a couple of things, uh, an image. So it'll probably take slightly longer to render, but uh, let's see what the output looks like, right? This is the send email command here. So while we wait, let me just go on to the inbox here and let's wait for it. All right, so that has uh, completed and we have received an email. It took some time, but uh, it's here. You can't really complain. So um, we haven't changed the uh, subject line, so that's what it is. And I can't quite see the email, but if I scroll a little bit down, here it is. Well, it has rendered the right way. At least it's not showing the HTML code, but it's not in the format that we had seen originally right um, just to tell you what it would look like it's supposed to look like rather what you see over here i'm just going to send a, a test email to show you the difference so let's say face prep rpa at gmail.com this is a test email just sending it and well that's been sent let's have a look at what it was supposed to look like again waiting for it to come here yeah here it is Right, this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, the same code. Well, a little bit of, uh, it hasn't rendered too well here, but still, I mean, it's much better than what we see in the one uh, automation anywhere has sent. Right, so uh, broadly, I just wanted to also highlight that when you're working with HTML, you need to test it out a little bit and try not to keep things too fancy as well right using simple designs will help uh, you know send things which are uh, uh, which render in a manner that is expected right so keep that in mind it did render our html but didn't do it, do a great job at it that's that's the only thing but again um, that's outside the scope of this particular tutorial how to uh, build your html so as to you know send it the right way again just to uh, quickly give you a tip there keep things simple and things will work out fine as you can see the attachments have also attached itself so there's one 
uh, logo uh, that is the uh, image that we had attached that is over here and also we wanted to attach all variables and that's also over here right let's have a look at these variables just to understand what this is so the system variables first as you can see year month day date all of these things are here what's on the clipboard is what we copied basically the um, what's on the clipboard is basically when I did control C uh, this data was uh, entered into the clipboard now point is that I copied it from that notepad file the sublime text file rather and uh, I, I had entered it into the variable and that's where it captured this right and if you come down here you'll find the user defined variables and uh, where's that any moment now we should be able to see that I think we uh, got past it you can have a okay here we are the user defined variable so you have my list variable with its default values and prompt assignment variable which obviously has our HTML code right the rest of the HTML code is over here so that's broadly it as far as sending an email is concerned we know how to attach a file you know how to read the variables you know how to use HTML you know how to use plain text you know that uh, well you know that you could use variables across this entire thing you can also send it to multiple uh, uh, multiple email addresses multiple email accounts using a semicolon over here so that's that broadly sums it up as far as sending email is concerned i hope you found this to be useful and now we can go ahead and send email using automation anywhere hey youtube if you found this video to be useful then go ahead and like this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then go ahead and do so right now see you later